Hakodate is located in the south of Hokkaido. Tourists from all over the world visit Hakodate for the exotic cityscape and beautiful night view. Hakodate City Museum of Northern Peoples. The materials of the northern peoples around Hokkaido, including the Ainu people, are on display. By Daruka, this is the Aleut's skin kayak. The image of hunting on a skin kayak is carved into a walrus tusk. Their lives can be seen from clothes and gloves made of reindeer fur, which can withstand the harsh cold, and seal skin, which is highly waterproof. You can see the commonalities and differences in the wisdom and skills of the northern peoples, including the Ainu people. Costumes made of silk fabrics called santan garments were originally worn by Chinese officials. They were brought to the Ainu people from the continent through trade with Sakhalin. Earrings were worn as decoration not only by women, but also by children and men. Visitors can see the traditional wisdom and culture of the northern peoples who lived in the harsh nature here. Yakumo is the only town in Japan facing both the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Japan. Yakumo is also associated with Tokugawa, being known as a place where the vassals of the Owari Tokugawa clan migrated in groups. Carved wooden bears are representative souvenirs of Hokkaido. At the Yakumo Wood Carving Bear Museum, about 200 carved wooden bears have been collected from all over Hokkaido and are on display. Visitors can see the history of carved wooden bears that developed here in Yakumo and Asahikawa. The bear hair makes us imagine the flow of the wind. It is absolutely the technique of artisans. A uniquely shaped bear created by the surface carving method. You can learn about the history of carving wooden bears and its technique. The Yakumo Town Museum is also attached, and historical materials such as tools used by the Ainu people for fishing are displayed there. The records of the Ainu people who lived in and around Yakumo can be seen. Please trace the history of Yakumo and see the various carved wooden bears. Hokkaido Museum in Noporo Forest Park, Sapporo. It is a comprehensive museum that introduces the nature, history, and culture of Hokkaido. In the culture and recent history of the Ainu exhibition room, there is a restored old Ainu dwelling. Inside the house, there is a hearth and places designated for sitting, sleeping, and keeping valuables. This is a cage for keeping a baby bear. A headband worn for special occasions such as ceremonies. A stringed instrument called tonkori. The world of Ainu culture has been passed down and will go on into the future. Please learn about the past and present of Hokkaido and then think about its future. Sapporo Pirka Kotan, located near the mountains of Minamiku Sapporo. 
Sapporo Pirka Kotan is a facility surrounded by nature and means beautiful village in the Ainu language. A traditional Ainu dwelling is called a chisel. This is a restored boat, which was used when going out to sea, called Itaomachi. A traditional culture that coexisted with the rich nature of the northern land. Various folk craft articles are displayed in the exhibition room. What stands out is the pattern in the Ainu costumes. One of the most representative costumes is Atusi, which is made using thread from bark fibers. When you touch the material, you can feel the softness and lightness of the fabric and the delicate handiwork that takes time and effort for each stitch of embroidery. Visitors can touch and hold most of the exhibits. You can learn while enjoying the life, history, and culture of the Ainu people. The Hokkaido Ainu Center is a 10-minute walk from JR Sapporo Station. It's located inside a building in the center of Sapporo. The Ainu Association of Hokkaido, as the designated manager, shows the changes in Ainu culture and the activities of indigenous peoples. A wooden mortar in the material exhibition room. It makes us picture their life in those days. Items which were obtained through trade with surrounding peoples and wajing. Animal and fish traps of the Ainu with diverse ideas are also on display. Today, the Ainu people are trying hard to pass down the way to make and use these tools and traps. Please see and feel the thoughts of the Ainu people in the way they convey their own history and culture. Tomakomai is a leafy city with a port that represents Japan. Tomakomai City Museum is a complex facility which shows natural science and art. Also on display are historical materials such as earthenware excavated from the Tapkop archaeological site, which was used by people from the Jomon period to the Ainu culture period. a lacquerware tool used for rituals. Such lacquerware was obtained through trade with Wajin, so the depth of interaction with Wajin can be seen. Dugout canoes, or chip, were excavated from the Yufzu River. These dugout canoes were buried in the volcanic ash of Mount Tarumai, which erupted more than 350 years ago. The Bibi River, where the Ainu people used to come and go by dugout canoe. Its quiet flow is still going on now. Shizunai in Shinhidaka is the place where the Ainu hero Shakushain was based in his revolt of 1669. Items used in daily life are on display at the Shinhidaka Ainu Museum, with boats restored with reference to Ezo Seike Zusetsu, a document from the end of the Edo period. 
The skull of the Hokkaido wolf, which was used for rituals, is especially important because it is the only one left in Japan. The extinct Hokkaido wolf was very special to the Ainu. Iron products excavated from archaeological sites such as Chashi, built by the Ainu, are also on display, reminiscent of those days. Shinhidaka also has the Shinhidaka Museum, which opened in 2015. The history and culture of the region are displayed in an easy-to-imagine manner in a spacious and beautiful facility. This is Shibetchari Suigen no Ki, a record of the Shibetchari water source. Sakuzaemon Yamanouchi, a shogun's retainer, traced the Shizunai River with the Ainu people as a guide. This document shows the relationship between Wajin and the Ainu people in the late Edo period. Nibutani, in the town of Biratori, located in the middle basin of the Saru River in the western part of the Hidaka region. Nibutani Kotan is a main base for cultural promotion, and a part of it has been designated as an important cultural landscape of Japan. The Nibutani Ainu Culture Museum has a unique appearance. It boasts the largest collection of Ainu folk craft articles in Japan. In addition, there are 919 items designated as important tangible folk cultural properties. The museum is divided into four booths, where the activities and culture of the Ainu people living at the Saru River Basin are explained in an easy-to-understand manner. It's beautiful work with the characteristic fish scale carving and the Ainu pattern with curved lines. Kayano Shigeru Nibutani Ainu Museum. Shigeru Kayano who was the first Ainu politician in Japan, collected the materials over 40 years. Of the Ainu folk craft articles in the collection, 202 were designated as important tangible folk cultural properties by the Agency for Cultural Affairs. This is Konkane Tuki which Shigeru Kayano used during his lifetime. It's a tea bowl stand, Tenmokudai. It's made of metal, which is rare. This is a costume made by Deiko Kayano for her husband, Shigeru. The traditional pattern was handed down in the Nibutani area. On the second floor, many tools and paintings of indigenous peoples and ethnic minorities from around the world, such as China and the United States, are displayed. There are 4,000 items in the collection, including those of the Ainu people. In addition, a matchmaking stone is placed outside, making it a popular power spot. Biratori Ainu Crafts and Heritage Center, Ureshpa, is a base for human resource development to disseminate Ainu crafts.
tourists and townspeople can also feel free to experience craft making. Moreover, it has the latest equipment, such as a laser processing machine, and there are programs to make tumblers and mug bottles with Ainu patterns. Urespa means to grow together in the Ainu language. One of the features of this facility is also to inherit and improve traditional techniques together and to do cultural exchanges. This is Nibutani Craft Gallery, which is also a base for promoting Ainu culture in Biratori. The works of Ainu craftsmen who are active in Japan and overseas are on sale. Nibutani Ita and Nibutani Atusi were designated as traditional crafts by the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry for the first time in Hokkaido in 2013. Colorful and warm products such as business card holders and wallets were made by arranging traditional atusi weaves. Steam powerfully rises here at Jigokudani. It's in Noboribetsu, which is one of the best hot spring resorts in Hokkaido. Chidi Yukie Memorial Museum is also located here. Yukie Chidi is known as the author of Ainu Shin Yoshu, the first Ainu story to ever be transcribed. Yukie spoke Ainu in her everyday life, spoke Japanese at school, and sometimes substituted for the teacher. Yukie wrote down the epic called Yukar, which her aunts had been orally handing down. Yukie noticed that the Ainu words written in Japanese were different from the actual pronunciation, such as yukara, which is pronounced yukar. The pronunciation spelling discovered by Yukie has become established as the current Ainu language notation. The notebook that Yukie wrote yukar in was decided to be published. Sadly, she died of a heart attack the night she completed the proofreading. She was only 19 years old. Yukie fulfilled her mission to convey the Ainu language. After her death, her book and the spirit contained in it have continued to impress various people. Yoichi is a town with a warm climate suitable for growing fruits. Many ruins from the Jomon period have been discovered, so it is known that people have settled here since ancient times. Yoichi Fisheries Museum is located on Mount Moire. Along with daily necessities, you can see herring fishing equipment that laid the foundation of the region. A picture which was drawn to pray for a bountiful catch of spring herring and autumn salmon. In the middle of the 19th century, the number of merchants from Honshu increased and trade became active. A wood carving in the shape of a killer whale the god of the sea called Kamuigiri. It is said that it was enshrined at home to pray for a bountiful catch. A Benzai Sen ship that was used to connect Honshu and Hokkaido during the Edo period Along with various marine products, Japanese culture was also brought to Hokkaido. About 40 minutes by car from the new Chitose Airport, 
Upopoi National Ainu Museum and Park opened in Shiraoi in July 2020. It is the first national center in Japan for the purpose of reconstruction and development of Ainu culture. The performance of Ainu traditional dance is registered as a UNESCO intangible cultural heritage. National Ainu Museum is the first national museum in Hokkaido. As Japan's first national museum on the theme of the Ainu people, it exhibits Ainu culture and conducts research. An approximately six meter high bear connecting stake was reproduced over a year as a symbol of the museum. The bear is decorated with accessories. It was used by Sakhalin Ainu in the ceremony for sending the bear spirit. And this is the only facility in Japan that displays it. A theater introduces Ainu culture from various themes in an easy to understand manner. At the museum shop, visitors can buy Ainu crafts and the museum's original goods. Visitors can enjoy the traditional Ainu dish ohau at the cafe. Please experience the appeal of Ainu culture at Upopoi. The Tokachi Plain is a magnificent sight. Obihiro Centennial City Museum shows the history of indigenous Ainu culture and the development of Hokkaido. An explorer, Takesuru Matsura, investigated Tokachi with local Ainu people as his guides. He wrote down the Ainu place names in his Tokachi diaries. The altar for ritual prayers is called Nusa. A carrying pouch made of bear skin to hold a flint. This is one that was actually used. The Obihiro Centennial City Museum not only shows the old culture, but also works to convey it to the future. Ainu Culture Information Center, Ryuka. Ryuka means bridge in the Ainu language of the Tokachi region. In those days, Ainu children are said to have acquired the wisdom and skills of life while playing. This place acts as a bridge for living culture. Makubetsu Town is located near the middle of the Tokachi Plain. There was once a village called Chiroto Kotan. Ezo Culture Archaeological Museum. Kikutaro Yoshida, who was an Ainu leader of Chiroto Kotan, founded this museum with his private funds. Yoshida called out to his peers to preserve the disappearing Ainu culture of his hometown and kept collecting existence of his ancestors, such as hunting tools, clothes, and tableware. It is said that driven by his enthusiasm, some people created and donated new folk crafts. We can touch historically important clothes such as atushi, the costume woven from bark fibers, and we can feel the handiwork of the Ainu people. 
The admission is free because Yoshida wanted many people to visit the museum. The town of Hombetsu. The original name, Ponpet, means small river in the Ainu language. The village spread out where the Toshibetsu River and its tributary meet. Historical Folklore Museum of Hombetsu introduces the history of this town, which was a base for training war horses from the end of the Meiji era to the end of the Pacific War. There are also items that convey the lives of the indigenous Ainu. Most of the exhibits are daily necessities which were used in this area. Tobacco was used not only as a luxury article, but also in greeting and as a social tool. We can imagine the life at that time from the well-worn items. They are a record of what life was like back then. Urahoro on the Pacific coast. This is the remains of Chashi, which is said to have been used by the Ainu as a lookout place. This Otafunbe Chashi is designated as a National Historic Site. Historical Museum of Urahoro displays the clay pottery presumed to be the oldest in Hokkaido and fossils such as ammonites. The customs and lifestyles of the indigenous Ainu people in this area are clearly introduced. Old coins and swords suggest that trade with Wajin was active. Researchers used to excavate and collect remains and grave goods at the Ainu Cemetery in Urahoro once, but those stored at universities were later returned to the area. The museum displays a number of grave goods returned to Urahoro. This museum opened in 1936. It is one of the oldest museums in Hokkaido, and the building itself is designated as a National Registered Tangible Cultural Property. On the first floor, about 400 stuffed marine creatures that live in and around the Sea of Ohotsk are on display. Many archeological and folk materials are exhibited on the second floor. a collection of more than 20 hunting knives. There is a lot of material about the Ohotsk culture related to the region, which is connected to the Ainu culture. Hokkaido Museum of Northern Peoples. It is the only ethnographic museum in Japan that specializes in the northern region. About 900 materials collected from Hokkaido and also all over the world, such as from the United States, Canada, 
and the Nordic countries are exhibited in the museum. The wisdom and skills of the northern peoples, as well as the diversity and commonality of ethnic groups can be discovered here. There are also many materials related to the Ainu people on display. This two-pronged harpoon is especially important. Its shape remained after nearly 100 years and tells the history of people living on the coast. Since Mombetsu was located midway between Wakanai and Shirepoko, it prospered as a port of call for a long time. Mombetsu Municipal Museum is a free facility that introduces the present and past of Mombetsu with a wealth of ideas. There are replicas of a simple lodging house and of the gold mine that was once said to be the best in the East. We can feel the history of Mombetsu in three dimensions. In the Ainu culture section, costumes and tools used for ceremonies are on display. This is a diorama that reproduces the ceremony of sending off the bear in 1 50th size. The tools and costumes are made with fine detail. They vividly depict what the ceremony was like back then. Nayoro is located in the northern part of Hokkaido. An explorer, Takeshiro Matsuura, investigated the Teisho River in Nayoro and vividly wrote down what the Ainu people's life was like. The Nayoro City Museum has exhibits that show the nature and history of the time, so we can imagine how people lived in this cold and snowy area. There are about 340 Ainu materials on display. Isokichi Kitakaze from Nayoro was a successor of Ainu culture. He was the first Ainu to receive the Order of the Golden Kite as a Japanese soldier and contributed to the development of the local community. The tools that he left are overflowing with simple and warm character. There is also a section that conveys the history of Takeshiro Matsuura. Asahikawa is the second largest city in Hokkaido. It is a river town with some 160 rivers. This is the Tamasai that graced Ainu women. Asahikawa City Museum has a collection of about 3,000 materials of the northern peoples, mainly the Ainu. Important materials collected in Sakhalin in China in the early Showa period are also exhibited. The 
Kamikawa Ainu, who lived in this area, were called Peniunkur, which means people living at the upper part of the river. They fished for salmon, processed it, and traded extensively. The Kamikawa Ainu's techniques are still being developed as they are passed down to future generations. An experience of enjoying Ainu traditional dance while wearing Ainu costumes. Kawamura Kaneto Ainu Memorial Hall is a museum run by the Ainu, which has a history of more than 100 years. The works of Ainu woodcarvers associated with the Sahikawa are exhibited here. It is the suppleness and dynamism of this world of art which attracts viewers. There is a chise, a traditional Ainu house thatched with bamboo grass which makes us imagine the old life. Kushiro is located in the eastern part of Hokkaido and has two national parks. Kushiro City Museum is located on a hill overlooking Lake Harutori. The complete skeleton of a mammoth welcomes visitors. The Ainu people's living tools are on permanent display. Ikupasui is an indispensable ritual tool for prayer. Ainu men used to carve ikupasui by themselves. A necklace called tamasai was worn when women dressed up. It is said that the glass beads were obtained from Honshu and farther abroad. The flow that created unique culture, customs, and language while being influenced by the surrounding peoples can be seen. About two-thirds of Teshikaga is a national park it is a place rich in nature with Lake Mashu and Lake Kusharo. Teshikaga Town, Kusharo Kotan Ainu Museum, is on the shore of Lake Kusharo. More than 400 materials, such as hunting knives and cigarette holders, are on display. Most of them are tools and crafts that were actually used. These are shoes made of salmon skin called chepkeri. They are said to have been worn after wrapping soft grass around the feet. Sutukeri are the shoes made by knitting grapevines. Visitors can also learn how to embroider traditional Ainu patterns at the museum. Numerous iomante, or ceremonies, have been held on this lakeside, such as the ceremony for sending the Blackston's fish owl. 
The wind from Lake Kusharo occasionally shakes Inao of Nusa. A sightseeing train runs through Kushiro Marsh. Shibecha has a vast natural environment and is home to many wild animals. The Shibecha Museum is on the shores of Lake Toro. It is nicknamed Nitaito, which means forest and lake in Ainu. Folk craft articles and costumes are reproduced by people who inherited the Ainu culture. This is a hunting knife, or makiri, used by a bear hunter. The scabbard has elaborate carvings to indicate that it is an Ainu hunter's knife. A ranch for war horses in the Taisho and Showa periods. A good Ainu hunter was hired to protect the horses from brown bears. There was a large Ainu settlement around Lake Toro. The rituals of prayer to the god of plants, rare even among the Ainu people, were performed there. Water caltrips, called pekanpe in Ainu, were an important food there. Many archaeological sites of hilltop fortifications, or chashi, have been found around Lake Toro. You can understand about the Ainu settlement and the flow of Shibecha Ainu culture. There are people who inherit the Ainu culture in Akanko Onsen, which is located in the east of Hokkaido and in the west of Akan Mashu National Park. Lake Akan Ainu Kotan is lined with souvenir shops. At Ainu Cultural Tradition Creation Center, One Chise, folk craft articles such as living tools and clothes that show the lifestyle of the Ainu are on display. There are many fascinating wood carving works attracting attention as modern Ainu arts. Lake Akan Ainu Theater, Ikor, is a dedicated theater where songs and dances are performed daily. There are many songs and dances that have been handed down. They also perform the ritual of praying to God, Kamui no Mi. Akanko Ainu Kotan is a spot where you can see the culture of the Ainu people who live today. <laughs> 